So this is this is like Lego ingredients. This is what a Lego looks like before it becomes a Lego. Oh, you gonna put your head in there? No, 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 not put my head. In there. I mean, let's, no, I'm like. <laughs> So this is Henrik, and he's gonna show us how Legos get made. So what's the first thing that happens in the process? The first thing is of course the, the raw material, you could see. So we have the granulate arriving from the factory, from uh, many different suppliers all over the world. Then we are mixing, you could say. We have a, like when you do lemonade in the kitchen. So we have sure. this uh, concentrated color, okay. like the lemonade, and then you add water. In this case it's of course plastic, the, right. you could say the nature part. You probably wouldn't want to drink it. No. no. And then we are melting okay. the plastic. I've heard that there aren't a lot of actual people that work at this factory. It's largely automated. So are we, like, are we talking like a lot of Lego building robots? You could say so, yes. So that crane was a robot, uh, and we're currently in the warehouse. Yes, so this is the highway warehouse. So okay. this is the end destination here in the molding factory. So this is all, you say, boxes full of uh, good Lego bricks ready for, for our packing facilities. Okay, yeah. and can I wear that helmet? Yeah, if you would like to, you can. <laughs> so uh, these bricks will sit here in these shelves for up to two months, and then they kind of get taken back out with robots again. It's a very cool process. So this whole area is basically like a museum for Lego, and it goes back through all the years. And at the end is where we're going to find the vault. This is Henrik Andersen, he is a Lego designer, and he has told me that it, the door to this vault is somewhere around here, um, but I'm not sure where. We're about to see Lego boxes that dates all the way back to the 60s, okay. until today. And it's a very secret place, we use it <laughs> internally, and a very few people from the outside gets to see it. How do we get there? Where, where do we There's go? There's a secret button on this panel. Oh man, <laughs> this is gonna be good. This, so this is from 1976. Um, it's a moon landing one. And what's crazy is the people are like totally different. Like these are not your, your Lego people. Okay, so we're gonna check out the uh, the first time the Lego man, as you as we know him, debuted. Before 1978, we had uh, Lego uh, Lego people. There right. was a brick build, a few special elements for the arms and the head and uh, and uh, wigs and hats. Yeah. In 1978, we uh, introduced the, the minifigure. A you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Freshman year, uh, senior year. So this is the uh, the rarest, the most expensive on eBay, the most sought after Lego set, the Millennium Falcon. This is heavy. Yes. Oh my God. Just over 5,000 pieces. 5,000 pieces. So behind this seemingly innocuous Han Solo in carbonite, Lego carbonite door, is actually another cool secret room, which is Star Wars themed. We are going to be looking at some cool prototypes. These are the first uh, sketches our graphic designer did at a uh, briefing at Lucasfilm. Okay. This is uh, the first prototype. Okay, so I didn't want to be rude, but it does look like a first prototype. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so th these are prototypes. Right? And so when this is finished, it'll be decked out with cool decals and probably a little different. Than this thing, right? Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Ryan Broderick. This is Henrik Anderson. Legos are really cool. I'm going to go play with this. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>